Hello guys, welcome to Love Between 22, Vanessa you're speaking and today we have another pick a stone reading and this is do they want you to approach them? Now this is requested to me by the Archangels and they request it to me because sometimes you know our person wants us to to approach them especially if they are feeling down because in my experience guys my masculine is having a hard time um right now i don't know what he's um he's going through but really his energy is very low right now and since it's happening, it's very depressed, I'm being affected as well. And then when I discovered that he wants me to to at least show a sign that I'm still interested, so it may uplift him high. Okay, so I did it, okay? I tried to reach out to him, though I don't want to. But, you know, sometimes in Twin Flame Journey, we have to approach our person, especially if they are feeling down, because Twin Flame should help each other out. Now, if you don't know about Twin Flames, they are ultimate soulmates that are meant for us. Twin Flames are meant to be light workers and higher level soulmates. Um, doesn't have that um, mission on Earth. But anyways, guys, um, the angels told me that relax okay if you pick a stone that that tells you not to do anything then you have to do it okay and it is also for the benefit of your relationship together and on the right timing guys you'll be together all right because um right now really the energy is not really good some people are feeling down some people are um wants their peace or solitude so depends really on your person what they really want as of the moment that they are sad and lonely and is there anything else the angels told me that you have to pray for your person because some of them encountered a lot of difficulties lately and if you pray the angels say it will boost your person not only your person but also you since you uplift them you could feel it as well okay so is there anything else they said no more so we have four choices here stone number one is rainbow fluorite stone number two is tiger's eye stone number three is rutilated quartz stone number four is clear quartz now choose wisely guys don't base it on your ego don't base it on your favorite stone either your favorite number because it will not resonate with you if you base it on those things okay and the angel told me if no stone is calling up to you as of the moment it means that it doesn't resonate for you at this time so don't be harsh to yourself okay if none calls on to you then no stone resonates so is there anything else they said no more so anyways guys just post a video if you're not yet ready i'll proceed now with stone number one hello guys for those who chose stone number one which is the rainbow fluorite here is your reading so let's see do they want you to re to approach them okay um if majority of the cards are in a pride position then it means yes they want you to approach them but if majority of the cards are in reverse then it means uh, no they don't want to so let's see angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know if the person of stone number one wants them to approach does this person wants pal number one to approach them another shuffle they request one more shuffle they request if they made me shuffle many times then it means that the reading is very intense 
So you have diversity. They said both are bright or rivers. You have paths unknown. Eight of keys. This is rivers according to them. Mm -hmm. You have the garden. Both are bright or rivers. We need more. So you have will, wisdom, and mind, um, faith, and meeting, and then the chess game. So let's see. Since you have three upright cards, then it means yes, they want you to approach them. But let's clarify the cards. Angels and guides. Please provide guidance for the cards. So that you'll be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand. Thank you. The angels told me you have to relax, okay? You don't have to focus. If you're angry, don't message them. Alright, you need to heal first before you approach your person, the angels told me, or else you end up fighting, okay? Eight of scrolls, um, eight of keys, you have eights, okay? You have two eights, so it means that eight could have a meaning with you guys. Real wisdom and mind. Fate and meeting in reverse. We have a lot of cards. But let's just follow the angels. Let's take it all. The chess game. So, let's see. Five of scrolls, which is diversity. I'm sensing like one of you guys could have cheated. Okay, and this one who cheated is coming back home. Because the other person is committed to the other one, even if um, they don't feel victorious in this connection. And this someone who cheated is planning to come back. Okay? But then don't know how to come back since one of you guys are upset of whatever had happened in this connection. That's what's going on, alright? So the next card is Eight of Scrolls. So, I'm sensing like the person who didn't cheat, i um, still thinking if um, they want to um, change path, okay? If they want to move on or just this person that cheated on them. And then the next is the Master Artisan. So, I'm sensing like the one who cheated really wants to give something because... Um, they have been a fool and they didn't um, give much attention to this connection. So I'm sensing like the one who cheated um, is the one who's wanting to approach, okay? Wanting you to approach so they may know if you're still interested or not with them. So the next card is the garden. So you guys... If that cheated guys could be there's a fight involved, okay? So you guys are in separation and this person is wanting you to approach so that separation won't be there anymore. And because um none of you guys right now are um working about these connections, what I'm sensing because of the fight that had happened. But this person is open for communication and this person is not gonna be an ice queen who's gonna um, cut you off and this person really wants to know if you're still interested with the connection or not that's why they really want you to approach them and um will wisdom and mind they want to make things right again because um they know they understand that they did something wrong and they want to make things right again they want to reconcile that is their what do you call this? That is their intention. Now, if you can't approach this person, they want to at least, um, they want a sign that you're still interested in them. That's what I'm sensing. So that they can offer you this cup of love. Fated meeting in reverse. 
<clears throat> so I'm sensing here that some of you guys are still upset about this, okay? About um, the cheating part or the fight that happened between you guys. Because honestly speaking, this is the karmic or that negativity that had happened, the fights. And one is giving too much in the connection, the other one is not. That's why this connection doesn't work at all. One is angry and upset of whatever this other person did. And the angels say that the only solution that um, they see here, your person, okay, that your person see is that you approaching them and not them approaching you, or you at least give a sign that you're still interested in them. Hmm, that sounds rude because they should both to reconcile, right? But then, um, if you can't message them, you can give at least a sign that you're still interested. Because honestly speaking, look at this, okay? Um, this person who did something wrong feels guilty of um, throwing your love away or not acknowledging this relationship. And it pierces them. That's why they want to come forward. They are observing you from afar and wanting to know if you're still interested to remove these burdens. They really want to move things forward with you. They want peace, okay? Because it's burdening them. It's making them feel guilty. That's what I'm sensing. That is why they want to know at least if you still care about them. Okay, so is there anything else, angels? They said no more. So thank you for watching those who chose stone number one, which is the rainbow fluorite. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hello, guys. For those who chose stone number two, which is the tiger's eye, here is your reading. Okay, now let's see. Does your person want you to approach them? So if majority of the cards is in a bright position, it means yes, they want you to approach them. But if majority of the cards are in reverse, then it means no, they don't want you to approach them. So let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know if the person of those who chose stone number two wants um, those people who chose this stone to approach them. Do they want to approach those who chose stone number two? <clears throat> Do they want... the people who chose stone number two to approach them let's see so you have the queen of scrolls this is upright according to them the queen of keys this is reverse according to them you have wishes fulfilled upright or reverse they told me and then the world in reverse setting your course so let's see hmm it's a tie let's have one more add some this is most upright or reverse according to them don't tell me some maybe diversity upright or reverse according to the angels Oh no, they're giving you a maybe. One more, they say. So you have Akashic Field. Reverse, they say. Should they pull more? They said no need. So let's count. So you have um, three reverse cards and then two upright. So it means a no. This person doesn't want you to approach them. But let's see what's behind the cards. 
angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand thank you the angel said you don't have to worry much about this connection because if this person doesn't want you back then there's someone else better out there for you the angel say one more shuffle they request i'm sensing unrequited love the queen of scrolls you have the king of cups this is reverse according to them the queen of keys in reverse um i'm sensing this too which has fulfilled two of scrolls reverse setting your course add some oh So diversity, uh -huh. one of forces, you have these cards. So let's see. Alright, so you have the Queen of Scrolls. I'm sensing like this person is um, putting their guard up against you, against any offers right now. Um, they want to be single for a while. That's what I'm sensing with these cards. And then the next card is this one, um, the Queen of Keys in reverse. So what I'm sensing here is uh, that they see this connection between you as unsuccessful, okay? So right now, they're trying to enjoy their life. They see you as somewhat a karmic connection. They're not successful with you. And... What's going on is that they're trying to move on from you by releasing um, the memories of the past and by enjoying their life with their friends. They're more into looking for their joy after a heartbreak with you. That's what I'm sensing. Or if you guys had a fight, they're trying to enjoy their life without you. Wish is fulfilled. Now, it has a connection with this one, okay? With the Queen of Keys. Because for them, they really want uh, their wish fulfillment in life. And they didn't got it in this connection that they have with you. That's why they put their guard up. You have the guard up twice here, okay? They're guarded. And if you come close to them, they might cut you off because they don't really want you back. That's what I'm sensing. And this person, I'm sensing like they're kind of mad at you. Okay? And then the two worlds in reverse. So I'm sensing like they let go of you already. Okay? They release them from being jailed over you and they are now looking for new opportunities they left you out of the cold and because they are looking for a new lover to come into their life that's what i'm sensing because in their judgment they don't deserve you that's what i'm sensing here and they're not giving second chances with you that's what i'm sensing with the judgment because judgment, I'm sensing this as more on forgiving part and they haven't forgiven you yet. They're still mad about whatever had happened between you guys, okay? That's why this person is moving forward, not um, going back towards you. So setting your course. I'm sensing like this person keeps on thinking about the past of whatever had happened with within you so if this is your friend or even a lover for them you betray them okay and it's burdening them like um i'm sensing like they keep on remembering your bad deed because the judgment is here as well and i'm sensing also that they're asking their friends some of them only okay few of them ask their friends about you only few but most of them 
Um, just remembering how hurtful it was being in a connection with you or being your friend could be. And then the next card is add some. So let's see. I'm sensing the add some like before they see you as someone whom they can depend to. Now they don't see it. And the angels say they made it obvious that they don't want to anymore in their life. And they're moving on towards um, other paths. Or they're more focused on themselves, as you can see here. They're more focused on self-love, self-worth. I'm sensing because I told you before they want to be single for a while. They want to enjoy their life. Okay, and some of them will find a new lover, as you can see here. But um, if they are into singlehood, they rather focus on themselves, okay? Focus on their stability and healing as well. That's what I'm sensing. They're not looking at the past anymore. They want to move on. I know some of them are. Well, it's just normal if you're angry, right? Sometimes you keep on remembering and remembering the mistake of someone. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sensing like your person's root chakra is blocked because um, if they approach you, they might hurt you. Okay, they might fight you even. Diversity. So I'm sensing like um, they are sad that they have plans about this connection but then in the end they let it go because um, they had enough giving too much attention and energy and effort even in this love. They feel very regretful though and the angels say they need healing work to do in order for them to see the new opportunity that they have in the future. So they don't want to approach you because they're still mad about whatever had happened. They still need healing work to do. This is in reverse. They haven't fully healed yet. And they release you and they are transforming. Once that the healing process is done and once that they realize that they need to change in order to be successful someday, that's gonna happen. And right now, they are just healing. Okay, it's not yet the right time to approach since they are still hurt and they are still mad at you. So, is there anything else, angels? They said no more. So, thank you for watching those who chose stone number 2 which is a tiger's eye. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hello guys, for those who chose option number 3 which is the rutilated quartz. I don't know if you can see that, um, the markings of the um, gold parts here, but it's rutilated quartz, okay? So, let's see. Okay, about your reading. Do they want you to approach them? Now, if majority of the cards are in upright position, then it means yes, they want to approach. They want you to approach them, but if majority of the cards are in reverse, then it means uh, no, they don't want to. Now, let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know if the person of those who, sto who chose stone number three wants uh, um wants those who pick this stone to approach them does this person wants um those who chose stone number three to approach them definitely they say one more shuffle, wow. I wish it will be a good read this time. But let's see. So you have the willow, which is fulfilled. Um, the karmic trench. A to reverse for the karmic trench, according to them. And then the akashic field. Um, this is a tie, but let's see. 
the treasure, um, the, the seven and then seven of roses. So is this it? I thought definitely angels. <laughs> So you have the King of Roses. Both upright or reverse for the King of Roses. I'm sensing like this person still in contemplation mode, but a part of them wants you back, okay? Because I'm sensing like how many are upright? Three are upright. So it means to know. <laughs> Why not try one more, the angels say. Views of the ego. What's the views of the ego? Reverse or upright? They said upright for the views of the ego. So this is a tie. Right? You have four. Oh no. It's not a tie. Yeah, it's a tie. Both fours. So it's a maybe. Should I get a maybe for an answer, angels? They said really depends, okay? But let's see why it's a maybe. It's really odd that I got a maybe. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand. Thank you. I'm sensing like this person is in a healing process and it's not about you, okay? It's about them. Like, I'm sensing like they have a lot of regrets when it comes to their career um, and they mess up a lot in the past and they want to move on from that. And some of them even hurt your feelings because they have been, I'm sensing, a bad person to you in the past. And they really want to move on from what they are before. Some of them are feeling regretful of what they did. That's why they can't come forward because they are shy about what they did. The Willow, you have the Page of Wands. Wishes fulfilled. You have the Four of Swords, Rivers, Four of Scrolls, and then number two. Hmm. What's this card? Just put the moon there. And then this card as well. Three of Forces. The treasure, seven of roses, rivers. I'm sensing like they really want to come forward with you, but they don't want you to take any actions with regards to them because they're still healing. But then they want you back. <clears throat> so let's see. Okay, the willow. So I'm sensing with this card, they want a new beginning with you. Okay, but in order for them to reach this one, they have to heal first their, um, their past. Okay, they have been hurt. Um, what happened to them is that they didn't reach their dreams, their goals. That's what I'm sensing with this. Okay, when I'm touching, and I'm sensing like they didn't earn much money with their work. I'm sensing like somebody could have tricked them or could have used their money. They haven't saved much, okay? They're trying to heal from their past wounds and mistakes. So, the next card is the Five of Keys, which is fulfilled. They really want to be abundant. They want this so badly. And... They're done contemplating on what they did or they're still hurting from um, not achieving this yet. Because I'm sensing like this card, they haven't um, have this yet. Okay. And then the next is... <coughs> I'm sorry, my throat. So your person's throat chakra is blocked because as of the moment, it's not yet the right time for them to approach you or to talk to anyone. 
So karmic trench is here. I'm sensing like this is more on career based. This um stone, who chose stone number three, they are career based, because I'm sensing like they have worked hard before, um but then somebody got their money and this somebody is abundant because of their hard work and now they realize their mistake that they didn't earn anything. They didn't have um the benefit of their hard work and it broke their heart <coughs> i'm sorry i'm sensing like they broke up with the empress i'm sensing more like the karmic here i know empress is sounds like divine feminine right but then in this um in this set of cards i'm sensing like it's the energy of the person that they satisfy before in the past and they realize that they satisfy someone who is not really worth it who's not really their empress i'm sensing a fake twin could be or a karmic but it has nothing to do with the real divine feminine okay <clears throat> sorry my throat their soul chakra is blocked so the akashic library yes they they come to realization about whatever they did in the past like they they realize that they invested something that is not um really good and i'm sensing like they don't tell anyone how they feel they don't tell anyone what they've been going through because they are shy about what they did that's why they put up front the queen of swords like if you approach them i'm sensing like some of them would talk to you but then they will not tell you what really happened to them because they don't have money okay somebody got their money because it's more career based like they're given giving and giving to the person that doesn't deserve their love Okay, and a sad but um sad thing is that they have been they're in a committed relationship, okay, but they want to move things forward because they don't want their karmic anymore. They want somebody whom will love them, okay. They want um what queen of wands in reverse. So I'm sensing like they want to move on from their karmic, okay. They want to move on towards you. They want to throw away their karmic. They they don't want it anymore. Even if they're committed to this karmic, they are moving away from the karmic. I'm sensing like this is a past energy. Like they already did it. Okay. They're not just talking about this. This is about the past energy. Why they are like this. They are remembering their past. Okay. The past that they gave their love to somebody who doesn't deserve their love. And they're committed to that karmic. But then they realize that. They deserve someone who's in chemistry with them, who will understand them further. And they want to communicate back to you. And I'm sensing like this person is the one who wants to approach you. They're more comfortable if they are the one who's going to approach you. That's what I'm sensing with this. Okay, so don't force them. And don't force yourself to approach them. Okay, it's not yet the right time. That's what I'm sensing. But if you already approach them and they talk to you, but they didn't tell you anything, then it means that they're very shy about this. This fact that they chose a karmic instead of you. If you're a lover, okay? And I'm sensing that this is more on your energy. Like if they approach you, they don't want you to cover your heart. They want you to be open to them. They want you to have that passionate desire to them. And they want you to trust them. And they're not going to be deceitful like before. They're going to be a whole new person once that they, um, they approach you. Because I'm sensing like they're just planning... To do something with their karmic, okay? They, some of them, if they haven't left their karmic, they are doing it, okay? But I'm sensing like this is more on past energy. Like somebody in their karmic betrayed them. Is their karmic friends, family members, addictions, anything that is negative, okay? Somebody betrayed them in the past. 
And currently now, um, they're moving on from this energy. Okay? If they are in a karmic relationship, they already move on from that. They already release the, um, themselves from the karmic. Okay? Or either the karmic um, did something to them. Just um, take what resonates, guys. There's a lot of stories here. Okay, you know your story and I don't know your story. So the first card, I mean the next card is a treasure. So I'm sensing like they're now viewing their finances and they realize they don't have enough. They don't have enough resources and they really want to be to have the six of wands but they didn't achieve anything while they are in a relationship with their karmic or while they are dealing with the wrong people involved in their life and they want to transform their life into the six of wands here they want to be successful like what you have here they contemplated about the past and they realized that they didn't achieve anything yet that's why um, they are very shy to reach out to you because I'm sensing like you're somebody who's stable. Okay, and let's see. Yeah, they're not stable. As you can see, they're not moving things with regards to you because they are like this. They are unstable in terms of money and even in their emotions because they're still trying to heal from this situation that um, they think to themselves they are a failure. Okay, they let people use them and now they're doing this, okay? They've been working hard to reach their goals, to reach their happiness, to bring back balance in their life. So if they're not um, approaching you guys, they're just busy working on their own and building up their finances back again so that they can be happy once again. I'm more sensing like this could be a masculine energy since this is more on um, money purpose. But only less will be female for this one. So the accent in reverse. I'm sensing like they come to realization that um, if they are with their karmic partner, they realize that that partner is not meant for them. And they are moving forward towards you once that they finally are happy with their life. And once that they already um, built up their finances, they will come to you as a knight in shining armor offering you <coughs> love. Okay. And then as you can see here. You have this king of roses, um, both the good and the bad side. But let's see what it is. I'm sensing like this is more on themselves, okay? They now know their positive side as well as their negative side. And they're trying their best to be balanced again. That's what I'm sensing. If there's something that needs to be changed, they're gonna change it so that they can approach you someday. Star card means twin flame journey. If you're dealing with a twin flame, guys, they are now acknowledging your connection. They are changing. They are fixing their life to be balanced so that they can come towards you and they can offer you a cup of love because honestly speaking, some of you guys could have been hurt in this connection because this person chose someone else in the past. So, I'm sensing like there's two sides of you here. Either you're gonna fight this person back. Like, if they return, you might be very defensive. Like, you don't wanna accept it. But the heavens are telling you guys that this is divine connection. That you should um accept this love offer. Because once that your person is ready, they will approach you and they will be a whole new different person. They won't be like the pure thorns here. They will be somebody who is balanced with their emotions, with their finances even, and they will approach you. And they are their intentions are good. They want to reconcile. They want to make it up to you. They even want to apologize for the things that they've done. I'm sensing like they're going to admit to you these things. 
Okay, whatever had happened, conspire in the past. That's what's happened. Okay, and then views of the ego, yeah. They're gonna tell this to you. Like, um, they have been stuck in this negative connection for a long time. Either be the friends that are not really their friends, karmic friends could be, or call colleague, a job, whatever it is, they feel so attached to it that it's hard for them to let go. Um, having this as a large card um, could mean that they realize it finally, okay? And some of them still attached to their karmic, but then um, they will let go someday. But I'm sensing like it's only for a few. Um... For this one, I'm sensing like they might go back to their karmic if you didn't up didn't approve them. Okay, because this is beside here, remember? Like this and this one. If you fight over them, if you don't want to accept their love, they might go back to another karmic relationship or even karmic friends. So please guys, if this person approach you okay heal your wounds okay so that you may be able to accept your person back because if you didn't um accept them back they might go back to their karmic okay so is there anything else they said um the angels told me that it's really up to you if you will choose this person or not they're not forcing you to love this person back they're just telling you the possibility um, the outcome, if ever you will reject this person. Um, it's only a few chance, the angels say, for them to still um, have a connection with you. Even though you reject them, but some of them will lose their faith in this connection and they might choose someone else. So, before you take an action, the angels say, make sure that um, your mind made up. Um, what to call this? You know what? How to handle the outcome? As the angels say. So, is there anything else? They said no more. So, thank you for watching. Those who chose stone number three, which is the rutilated quartz. Sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hello guys, for those who chose stone number 4, which is the clear quartz, here is your reading. Okay, now let's see. Does your person want you to approach them? So if majority of the cards are in a bright position, then it means yes, they want you to approach them. But if majority of the cards are in reverse, then it means uh, no, they don't want you to approach them. So let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to know if this person once pal number four to i mean so number four to approach them do they want a stone number four to approach them another shuffle they request i'm sensing unrequited love i wonder why so you have the scribe reverse, king of keys, upright or reverse for this one, they tell. We have will, wisdom, and mind. Um, the oracle of Delphi. This is upright or reverse according to them. Since it's a tie, let's pull more. Buddha prepares reverse and then the master artisan. Is your upright or reverse again according to the angels? So, should I need to pull more? They said yes, okay. So, you have Archangel Gabriel. Both upright or reverse for this, they say. Is this enough? Okay, so since majority of the cards are in reverse, and it means no they don't want you to approach them but let's see what's behind the cards 
angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand thank you one more shuffle they request one more <coughs> they say i'm sorry <coughs> probably your person hmm has their soul chakra blocked 12 reverse and then the king of keys real wisdom and mind the oracle of delphi 13 the master artisan number three So you have the scribe in reverse. So what I have here, guys, is that um, your person put an end in this connection already. That's what I'm sensing. They're not working on with this connection anymore because they see that there's imbalance in the connection. And I'm sensing like they don't want to push things forward because... They don't see, I'm sensing unrequited love. They don't see any potential at all. And they're moving away from this connection. That's what I'm sensing. Now the next is the king of keys. So yeah, they're not gonna take any action at all. Because their, their heart is closed when it comes to you. They think that they are successful now with their life. And they see you as someone who haven't had that success yet. That's why um, they turn their back on you. They want someone who's stable. Someone who's doing well with their career. That's what I'm sensing that they wanted. And then me wisdom in mind. I'm sensing like... um. They've been a fool, like they're following something that is not really nice for them. That's what I'm sensing. And their intuition is warning them that um, whatever they're doing is not right. That's what I'm sensing when I hold this card. But let's see why. So you have the Oracle of Delphi. I'm sensing like they are with someone else, okay? They put a pedestal on that person but then i'm sensing like that person is really like this like um this person is kind of a user that's what i'm sensing and this person betrayed them many times and the angels told me that their intuition is telling them to end this cycle with their person that is betraying them and they're still not doing it. They're still in decision mode. No wonder you have this full card. Like, um, as their intuition is warning them that about this, okay? About this cliff that they might fall, okay? And then the next is the Buddha prepares in reverse. So what we have here is that your person really is in a hermit mode when it comes to you. And they're not even preparing to be with you. They didn't move things forward with you because I'm sensing like they're still egotistical. Thinking that um, with their karmic, um, they are alright like they are tied down to this person who's doing this to them who's taking all their money like they don't even know about it just they're just going with the flow and they are blind because they see their karmic as the upright okay maybe their karmic is beautiful or handsome that's why even if their karmic gets their money it's okay with them they're loyal to that person and they don't see this um, disadvantage of what the karmic is doing to them. They just see the beauty of this relationship together with the karmic. That's why they're not moving things forward with you. And they are in a hermit card. 
because they're not prepared yet to come to you. They haven't awakened yet. That's what I'm sensing. That's why the Buddha prepares is in reverse. So the next card is the Master Artisan. I'm sensing like interconnection with the karmic. This person is give and give, okay? But the other one doesn't give much. Like it's not a give and take relationship, which costs a lot of fights, a lot of conflicts, interconnection. But despite of it, the angels say, your person it's not awakened, okay? But once they are awakened, once that they are aware about um, what's happening, about this fighting, about them giving a lot of things, they will think things over, okay? They will realize that they need to be stable. And their karmic is the one who's getting all their finances. Or if this is not a karmic partnership, could be somebody in their life. Um, that's getting their money because it's more on about money base because there's a lot of pentacles involved here and a lot of giving and giving stuff to another person. So once that they are ready, once that this person realized that um, this karmic is um, getting along the way of him or her earning money, then what will happen is that they will move things forward with you, okay? But if they are not yet ready, if they are still thinking that the karmic is the one for them, this will be in reverse. Now, this card is more on about action. They will only take action, guys, if they already reflected on what they should be doing. Okay, so for this um, set of cards, it means that uh, no, it's not right for you to approach them yet. Okay, you might end up being cut off in this connection. You might end up being blocked, the angels say. So is there anything else? They said no more. So thank you for watching those who chose stone number four, which is the clear quartz. Sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.